All right, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be going very deep into something that I wish I would have heard 12 years ago when I started my business. And uh, I don't think this is going to apply to everyone who watches this video, but my goal here is I know if this can help one person, it's worth it for me to spend the time uh, to go deep into this issue that I see with a lot of coaches. And I'm going to be answering the number one most popular question that I get on Instagram. Uh, coaches send me this question every day on email. Uh, coaches who text me often ask me this question. I see this question three, four times per day, right? And I wanted to create this video because in the future, if you ask me this question, I'm going to send you back and watch this. All right, very simple. But the question I get is, am I able to do this as a full-time business? All right, so let's say you have nine to five right now. And you've been thinking over the last couple of months, maybe you're watching my videos or someone else's videos, and you're like, you know what? I want to do something more meaningful with my life. I want to coach. I want to be a trainer. I want to start a business. I want to do my own thing. I don't want to be paid by, by a boss anymore. I want to be the boss. Now, if that's you, pay close attention. If you've, if you've thought to yourself, you know, can I do this as a full-time thing? Now, the answer obviously is yes, right? Yes, you can, but will you do it? Right? And I would say that the number, one of the number one factors of why people don't start, it's because they don't believe that they can do it. And oftentimes they're surrounding themselves with others who don't have a business. And so how are you supposed to feel motivated and encouraged when you talk to people who don't have a clue about what they're talking about? Right? And this is, facts okay i've talked about this on my podcast years ago and i'll repeat it here when i started like none of my friends had a business they were all working for for not a nine to five job getting paid a little safety check every month right so it was impossible for me to talk to them about the stuff i was going through I didn't have anyone I could talk to other than uh, I had a mentor kind of at the beginning, but it, he wasn't really giving me a bunch of business advice. But during that time, I felt very isolated. And what happened was like, I started to tell more people that I would say did, that didn't have a business. I was telling what I was doing and they were like, yeah, that, that's just not going to work. Or... Oh, like you should just go get a job. And here's the thing. And this is a very blunt statement. But like, let's say I want to go get jacked, right? I want to get ripped. I'm not going to go get advice from an overweight human being. Right? And this is happening with business. You might want to start a business and you're talking to Uncle Billy Bob, who hasn't started a business, who has no idea what it takes to start one. He has no idea how to get paid. He has zero uh, confidence in starting something like that. So what happens is those people you talk to project themselves on you and how they feel, how they think, that starts to creep into your psyche. And this is why when I answer this question, can you do this full time? Absolutely yes, but you need to cut out people in your life who tell you that you can't. And that sounds radical, right? It's exactly what I did. Every single person that knew me in 2012 has not spoken to me since then, right? The only way they can get to me, they're gonna have to find out where I live, period, right? Outside of my family, any of those people I talk to about advice or friends who say can't do it, had to move on. All right. So this all comes down to 
surrounding yourself with those who do think you can do it. And not just that, surround yourself with those who are doing it. That's why I created our mastermind program, right? Right now we have close to 90 coaches from eight different countries that are part of two different groups. And all of those people think like-minded, right? They all want to succeed. They all want to help more kids. They want to train more clients. They want to provide more for their families. They want to have more freedom in their personal life. They want to spend more time with their family and their loved one. They don't want to be, you know, grinding away 50 hour a week's training when they could be running a, a better leverage business, right? And oftentimes when you think about starting a business and, and you're getting bad advice, it's going to slow you down from starting. It's going to slow you down from taking action because you think other people know what they're talking about. And this is the thing, right? I'll be the first to admit, I've gotten a lot of bad advice from people who didn't know what the F they were talking about. Right? Those are people who I don't seek out anymore. <laughs> right? Like when I meet with my business coach, she has walked the path that I'm on right now. She's walked that path for over 20 years. So why do I respect her advice? Because she's done it. It's the same way when I help coaches start their business, grow their business, scale, get more clients, get better at sales. Like I've already walked that path. That's why I feel very confident creating so much content here on YouTube. All right. In five years from now, this YouTube channel will probably have 2000 videos, right? Our mastermind program in five years from now, will have anywhere between two to 10,000 coaches. Right? Why? Well, it's because we've created a community that coaches can come to and ask questions and actually get advice, get real world advice from others who already accomplished the things that they want to do. That's why it works. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, you know, I, I just, I've been asking the wrong people questions. Like, you know what I'm talking about. You can probably think the last two weeks, you probably had one conversation with someone who shut down your idea. They're like, no, that's not going to work. I had so many people who told me at the beginning, like, I would never be able to do this. Like, now me and Cowboy are freaking laughing in their faces, right? And here's the thing. You're going to start thinking differently when you're around those who have done the thing that you want to do because now you know it's possible, right? And I'll tell you a story. I've said this on my podcast, so if you've heard this, um, this would be a good reminder. If you haven't heard it, like, I think this will really open your mind. But I remember the first conference I went to, uh, this was a long time ago, and I was sitting there and I was watching this speaker who, uh, who's talking about sales. <clears throat> And he had this hour presentation about sales and, and I remember just watching him and I was like, man, like I've never been around anyone like this in my life who talks this confident and who's making it sound this simple. And like, I could tell this guy really carried a lot of confidence. I wasn't hanging out, hanging around with a bunch of people who carry that much confidence. I wasn't hanging out with people who dress like he did, who talk like he did who talked about money like he did. And I remember looking over to next to me, one of the people that was uh, also attending the conference, after this guy got done with the speech, the guy next to me was like, hey, um, like, what's your name? And we started talking, like his third question was, how much money are you making per month? And I remember how uncomfortable I felt. I was like, what? Like, I, <laughs> no one had ever asked me that. And then I told him, and it was a very low amount back then. And, and then I was like, oh, if he asks me, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> so I asked him, and he's like, yeah, right now I do around 20000 per month. When I asked him that question, it was like the floodgates opened. I was like, this is a normal dude I'm talking to. He's not Superman. Like, he has just figured out how to do something that I have not done yet. 
So next couple of days, when I saw him in the hallway, I kept asking him questions, right? That would have never happened though if I would have stayed home that weekend and didn't go to this conference. So when you spend time with people who are doing the thing that you wanna do, you can fast track your success, period, All right? It's the same thing if you look at kids who play sports and when they play up in age group, they get better so much faster. Why? They're playing with kids that are more experienced, more developed, and it forces them to play better. It forces them to try harder, it forces them to train more. It's the same with business. When you hang out with those who are accomplishing things at a higher level than you, you play up to their level. And I've seen that happen like clockwork, right? And this is an extreme example, right? So this is not a typical uh, like result of coaches that we work with. But in November, there's a guy that signed up for our program. If you follow me on Twitter, you would see this. It's like the first tweet I have that's pinned. Um, he joined our program in November and he was really frustrated with how things were set up within his business. He had a lot of clients, but he did not have a lot of systems. And within, it was within a 30 day period, he generated $30,000 of sales in one month of being in our program. And then two months later, he generated an extra $40,000 per month, all right? That is almost half a million dollars per year. Um, so when you look at that, it's like he was around other people who are doing that sort of stuff. So it made him believe that that's possible and then he took action, right? So I asked you the question here, if you feel like you can't do it, my question is who you hang out with? Like, are you just in your own head? Are you just searching on YouTube? Uh, are you talking to the wrong people? Are you getting bad advice? And that's why I'll tell you, never get advice from someone who's not in the arena. Like, I could not create these YouTube videos unless I was in this arena still. I am, I still train kids, not some, some freaking guru, right? Normal guy, still train kids. Yeah, we help a lot of coaches, yes. But I'm in the arena. That's why for you, when you seek out information, when you ask questions and when you're thinking about making changes, get advice from someone who has already walked the path. They're in the arena. That, that you want to play in. And you can fast track what you do. And if you've watched this video all the way through, I know you're serious. I know you want more in your business. I know you're sick and tired of your job. And you either want to change your current business or you want to start your business. If that's you, text me right now. My number is 210-960-5771. If you live in the US, Canada, or Mexico, text me. If you do not live in one of those three countries, send me an email at buildmysportsbiz at gmail.com. When you do that, tell me your name, give me your phone number, uh, and I'll talk to you on Zoom probably within the next 72 hours, All right? I wanna help you, that's my mission. My mission is very clear, it's up here on my whiteboard, and it talks about how many kids I want to be able to impact over the next 10 years. It's a big number. I can only do that if I help coaches grow and scale their business, All right? So that's it. Text me if you live in the US, Mexico, or Canada. If you don't, uh, if you live anywhere else in the world, like I just, yesterday I had a coaching call with a, a guy in Australia. So we are helping coaches internationally right now. And uh, if you know you need help, you wanna take it to the next level, and you wanna get out of the funk that you're in right now, and you're willing to work hard and listen, and you're coachable, and you want to make a big difference in kids' lives, I'm your guy. Very confident that I'm your guy. I've already done this. I've done this hundreds of times over the past four and a half years. So if that's you, reach out to me. I'll talk to you soon.